We are hearing a lot more about email phishing. Can you talk us through exactly what phishing is and how it works? Yeah, really simply, phishing is, I suppose, a type of social engineering attack. So it's used to steal users' data, including login credentials and credit card numbers. So it most often occurs when the attacker is masquerading as a trusted person or entity uh, and entices the victim into opening an email. So instant messages or even text messages can be used, uh, but it only takes one person in an organisation, as happened here, for a cyber criminal to get access to the company's crown jewel, so to speak. How do we keep an eye out for it then? What are some of the dead giveaways when it comes to phishing? Yeah, well, this is something I don't think is covered uh, enough just, just generally uh, across the market. But, you know, some, some key signs are, you know, check the actual email sender's address. So often it won't match a real company domain. So you can simply hover over the actual email address uh, in the from section and just see what the actual address is. Check for obvious spelling errors, um, poor logo replicas and even sort of address locations in the footer that don't usually match, uh, might be from a completely different country. Uh, look out for generic greetings, which often just, you know, dear valued member, uh, account holder, customer, those sorts of ones. Your actual email address might show up in there or they might just, you know, refer to you as sir. Um, also within the body of the email, like the, the who, it's, who it's come from, also hover, hover over the links in there and see without clicking on the URL where that's actually come from. So it's often masked within the body of the email, look like it's another address. And just be cautious with attachments. So. Don't ever open attachments, especially with ones you're not sure of, uh, even though the attachments uh, have almost read old school status, I suppose, with uh, the favour being for URL, um, you know, for downloads. The malware carrying file, file, sorry, file attachments are commonly now a tactic to cyber criminals. So also don't get intimidated. Uh, often there'll be attempts to pass off as like the tax department, some form of law enforcement. And there's even been porn scams where they say you've been filmed and they'll try and blackmail the person for a payment. Uh, often, especially with banks or utility companies or government departments and the like, so they'll usually go snail mail and send you something directly to your letterbox physical rather than go to the inbox for such sort of information.